Did you know that a group of owls hanging out together in the same tree is called a parliament? Hey everyone, I just got Gemini Live, and I'm excited to walk through with you the full setup process, including the features that are still missing. So first things first, let's get set up. I started by navigating into my Google One account, and then below here, there is an available now it Gemini Advanced, view details, and here is where you can actually go ahead and purchase Gemini Live for $20 per month. After a quick phone restart, I noticed that the speech icon on the bottom right started to appear in the Gemini app. And here is the live app. You can put it on hold by pressing the hold button. You can press it again to turn it back on. And then you can also end the conversation. Right off the bat, let's talk about some features that really impressed me. So first, one standout feature in my mind is the lack of latency. I can ask questions and Gemini Live responds right away without really taking a long time to load, which makes it feel like a real conversation. For example, I can ask, hey Gemini, tell me a fun fact. Okay, here's a fun fact. Did you know that slow lorises are the only poisonous primates? They have glands under their arms that make a toxin. To protect themselves, they'll lick the toxin into their bite. Cool, so there's barely any latency here. In addition to that, I can also interrupt and it does have a little bit of lag sometimes, but for the most part, it's able to figure out that I'm talking to the app and basically it will stop and listen to what I'm saying. Hey, tell me a fun fact. Got it. Here's another one. Some cats are allergic to humans. Actually, you know what? Just give me a different fun fact. Okay, how about this? Did you know that a group of owls hanging out together in the same tree is called a parliament? I think that's a pretty cool name for a bunch of owls. Yeah, so there is a little bit of lag, but still, I would say that it is pretty close to where it is more negligible than not. Third, voice settings. I've noticed in some countries, they've already said that you have voice selection for up to 10 different voices, which can be accessed in the top right corner of the app. Click on the top right corner of your profile, click into settings, and there in the second one, it should give you an ability to change the voice. But as you can see in mine, it doesn't actually have it because I think in Canada, it seems like you're stuck with the default voice and you can't actually change this to a different voice. Hopefully that will change in future updates. Okay, other ways to trigger Gemini is if you're anywhere on the app, if you just hold onto the power button, you can click on the voice chat, and then there you go, you're into Gemini Live. So, while Gemini is super impressive, there are still some features that are not available yet. Hey Gemini, what future features are you coming out with? Gemini is still under development, so it's hard to say exactly what features are coming down the pipeline. However, we're definitely working on things that will make Gemini even more helpful and versatile. Here's a couple examples. We're working on improving Gemini's ability to follow multi-turn conversations, which means it will be able to stay on topic and remember what you've talked about before. And we're also working on making Gemini better at understanding different accents and dialects, so it will be more inclusive for everyone. Do you have a specific feature in mind that you'd like to see Gemini develop? Are you going to have app integration with Google Calendar as well as other essential apps? Yes, Google's working on integrating Gemini with a bunch of useful apps like Google Calendar. Imagine being able to ask, what time does my dentist appointment? Or, can you schedule a meeting with Alex on Thursday? That'd be pretty handy, right? So, it's a feature they're definitely developing. Can't say for sure when it'll be available, but it's on their roadmap. What about camera integration so that you can see what I see? Yeah, camera access would open up all sorts of possibilities. Imagine being able to describe something you see and have Gemini pull up related images or use your surroundings to help plan your day. Or think about how cool it would be to just hold something up to the camera and ask Gemini to identify it. Would you use the camera for searching the web for things or getting tasks done? Cool. So it looks like app integration, camera integration, being able to have voice customization, understand accents will be key features coming up in the next update. So that's my initial take on Gemini Live. By the way, it's only available for Android only right now. It's a powerful tool right now with a lot of great features with more upcoming. I'm really looking forward to how Google continues to expand based on customer feedback and provide more capabilities in the future so that it looks more and more like a really great personal assistant.